September 29, 2000, Trinidad and Tobago sprinter Addo Bolden stunned the world wearing these very sunglasses at the Sydney Olympics. They are the Oakley Over the Top Silver Frame Fire Iridium. This morning and surprise that Otto Bolden shows up with that space age eyewear. I'm Shady Day, and this is Shady Day Sunglass Reviews. Addo lost that race badly, eighth and last place. But these sunglasses would remain a disruptive design in sunglass history. One years later, Canadian sprinter Andre Degas won the men's 200 meter Olympic gold at the Tokyo Olympics wearing another pair of Oakley Disruptive Design sunglasses. They are now known as the Zias. Oakley released 200 pairs of these limited edition glasses on August 12, 2021. And this box arrived a few minutes ago on August 16, 2021. And we're going to have a look for the first time and see what these glasses look like. They came from Luxottica of America in McDonough, Georgia. we have. I have not been able to wait. Oh, well packaged, some bubble wrap, some air bubble wrap. It was always fun to stomp around. Inside, we have a small box. Truth be known, we have two small boxes, but for the purpose of this, we have one small box. What do we have on the outside? Model number 009226. Olympic gold prism 24 karat dual iridium. This is a dual iridium color, I believe for the first time as well, a dual gold iridium color on these lenses. Luxottica group. So we flip them open, get them out of their so on the outside we have a very beautiful it looks like a gold embossed Oakley symbol, actually a newer Oakley symbol. If we open these up. They are shiny black gloss on one side and matte finish on the other. And they do have a gold pinstripe through the middle and a gold embossed Oakley logo on the front. Very understated, but very classy box indeed. So we peel off the cover. We'll get rid of the cardboard and the plastic. We're left with a matte finish black case with the Oakley logo. Now the traditional or the usual Oakley logo that we see here with the registered trademark symbol on it as well. This flips up from the back, we open them up and we get closer. Inside, we have number 449 of 500. So even though the internet and the um, email that was sent out described 200 pairs, this is number 449 of 500, indicating that there would be indeed 500 pairs of them. So says competition brings transformation, a process that is born almost entirely from within. When the stakes are their highest, the emotional and mental battle can be just as, if not more critical than the physical one, the strong dig for more. For that ultimate edge, they turn to Zeus, sitting at the intersection of the mindset of a god and the image of a warrior Zeus provides the final advantage to unlock what's possible. Well, truly, they couldn't have planned it any better. Unlike the 2000 Olympics, eighth place in a semifinal, Andre de Goss, Andre de Goss wearing these glasses, won the actual gold medal, I believe for the first time in, in Canada for 93 years. So we open up again. Wow, inside is super funky and we got a bunch of... Uh, 
hard plastic um, things jutting out here. It's like a little, maybe a little city or a little uh, ecosystem, a little world here, uh, perhaps. You know, these look like buildings. In fact, they are. It's, the, it's actually uh, Tokyo. If you can see the um, profile, it's the Tokyo skyline um, holding these glasses. So that is, uh, that is super cool. We will take them out for the first time and have a look. And there they are. See us. They feel super fragile, I have to admit. They do feel... Now these are born from the Kato design, the single frame with, you know, obviously frameless and the arms extending outward. But unlike the Kato, which we have a couple pairs back there, uh, unlike the Kato, these feel a lot more fragile, in my opinion, a lot lighter. First look at them is absolutely stunning. They are the two-tone gold iridium. I can definitely see that. There's a little cutout here at the top with Oakley in gold embossed. Um, well, the Oakley's not embossed in gold, but it's gold around. And again, this is all lens. So this is all lens. When I look from this side, you can see through the entire the entire piece. The two-tone is underneath and over the top is one tone of gold and the second tone are obviously the lenses themselves. So this is one lens with the two different gold iridium, a lighter gold iridium, and then the more 24 karat gold iridium, the glasses and the Oakley. So how do they feel to put them on? Well, they sit on nice. They feel really nice. They feel super light, I have to admit. They are definitely lighter than the Kato's on my face. Um, the clarity is unbelievable. As I'm sitting in a lit studio here, uh, we don't have the greatest light, but they are letting in a lot of light. I believe the light transmission on these is 11%. They're hugging my temples. They're not adjustable, I don't believe, like the Kato's, they're not, but they are definitely hugging my temples nicely firm enough that they're not going to slip off. And the nose piece, again, of course, being made of unobtainium, um, is just sticky enough to grip my nose and feel secure. So these glasses are definitely not going anywhere. Uh, what else we have inside this box is a couple of extra nose pieces like the Kato. So it'll come with a smaller nose piece and it'll come with a larger nose piece. I put the larger nose piece on my Kato's. They, We'll make the glasses uh, out further from your face uh, and the smaller, I would assume, will bring the glasses in, uh, the lens in closer to your face. Uh, they do have a microfiber bag, similar to the Kato's. They have a little pouch that I guess you could keep your nose piece in, uh, your extra nose pieces if you wanted to. Um, I don't know that anybody would actually do that. Inside we have Let's hook this up a bit. So, I don't know, it almost looks like a smiling cat to me, but <laughs> I'm not sure if that's part of the design or not. But if we remove this smiling cat here, it looks like we have a little surprise underneath. And one more perhaps hidden surprise from Oakley is a Oakley embossed, it says, uh, oh, it's just got the uh, Foothill Ranch, one icon, Foothill Ranch, California. That's just the Oakley info. That looks like that's it for the box. The rest is foam inside. This box is made to be able to display your glasses. So the idea of this box is that you could put it all back together and you will put, we will put it all back together. You put your little cityscape back in here and then your Oakley glasses can sit inside here uh, and be displayed openly in this box. Um, but what is inside, what is inside here? So the Oakley logo again, this could just be Oakley's new logo. I have to say, I have to admit that my Oakley following days have just started more recently with the release of these glasses. Uh, I've been collecting Oakley glasses since eye shades and uh, I've got a few of them here, Juliet's and eye shades and the X metals and all of that. And then I fell out for quite a number of years and have recently started collecting again, but 
This is just information about the Oakley, about glasses. This almost looks like a promotional. It does show you how to display your glasses. So um, you can take this little world out and display your glasses. So it shows us that in there. And then just the information booklet. So there really isn't other than the ZS branded on the top and the fact that it comes in this special uh, sleeve. There's really nothing out of the ordinary there. Uh, other than a small brochure on the glasses themselves. So, so these glasses feel good. They look good. I guess the number one question is, well, how, where do you get them and how much do they cost? Well, uh, again, these were released on August the 12th of 2021. The retail cost of the glasses on Oakley's website uh, was 550 US dollars. That included shipping. Uh, they sold out uh, we ordered our pair at um, 6 a.m. That is 6 a.m. Eastern time. And the uh, glasses were sold out, as far as I could tell, they were sold out by 9 a.m., I believe. Sorry, I don't know the exact times. But anyways, they were sold out and they remain sold out on their website. Considering we were up uh, all hours of the morning, refreshing the website, trying to get the... Uh, release as soon as it happened. Uh, I would have thought we would have been earlier than 449, but this is 449 of 500. Uh, certainly happy with that, happy to have a pair, happy to have two pairs. I'm not sure what the other numbered box is. Uh, maybe they just came out randomly uh, out of the warehouse. But um, how much are they? Well, they were $550 US dollars uh, when they were for sale. They sold out in a heartbeat. Uh, the original uh, or the over the tops, they were $185 US 21 years ago when they came out. I mean, it's all relevant, uh, relative to the time. Uh, are they worth it? Well, I mean, Andre de, de Grasse, uh, he wore them. He won Olympic gold. He won the 200 meter, uh, you know, after 93 years of Canada not winning it. So it's certainly a great story uh, and a great pair of glasses for that. Now that's this limited 500 pair. I see that it does say in here, it comes in a limited edition box. I'm reading uh, and actually, um, yeah, it says, you know, in a limited, in a one of a kind case. So I don't know, you know, is just the case the one of a kind? Are we going to see more of these glasses being released? I really don't know. Um, I think the rarity of them certainly is an allure right now that you want them. They're rare. There's only 500 of them. Um, are you going to wear them every day? Are you going to wear them cycling? Probably not. I mean, you can wear them cycling, but you know, road rash and things like that. I don't think you're going to want to risk it. They're very fragile. I'd be afraid to drop them from five feet up. You know, the lens, it's just one piece. There is no frame. Could they break? Could the arms break? Probably quite easily. The lenses are not replaceable. So you're going to have these lenses, one scratch, one mark, as we know with the Iridium lenses, um, they're not replaceable. The over the tops, you can get replacement lenses not with these. So you have to take that into consideration. But in my mind, um, if you want to have something that is certainly uh, a disruptive uh, pair of glasses that people are going to say like, wow, like, what are those? I have never seen those or recognize them from the Olympic Games. I mean, it's just a cool piece to have. Uh, they, they, uh, they look amazing. And I certainly am not disappointed uh, with them. Uh, but other than that, uh, I, did, I did see in here, Oakley had said in this uh, little booklet here um, that we do what others are afraid to do. And they have a picture of the, of the Kato's there, uh, which these lenses are built off the original, the Kato lenses, which just came out. And we do what others can't. And, uh, and I, I do believe I read that Oakley had spent 45 years designing a frame that could be structured so it, or a lens that could be structured so it did not need a frame. And they've obviously done it now, 45 years later. Um, inside this booklet also are a lot of the classic uh, Oakley, uh, they've, they've got the original, original razor blades in here. Uh, the, uh, the eye shades are in here. The zeros, one of the pairs of zeros, I think the point threes are in here and some, uh, it looks like the Juliet's are in here. And so a lot of the over the tops, there's one little frame of the over the tops in here. So they are definitely, uh, you know, putting these glasses out there as, uh, one for the ages and, and one to be remembered. And, uh, and I do believe they will be. So a great pair of glasses. Uh, that's all I've got for today. Uh, thanks for watching. This is Shady Day saying, stay shady.